Hello again everyone and welcome back to Project Hydra and it's me, Bonded Salt and we are over here at the, our industrial district uh, behind us here is the farm we built uh, I built this off camera because I wanted to get something running so you can see here we've got a uh, quad, oh, it's not easy walking forward is it when you, you look at the camera uh, so let me just switch that round, so there we go so we've got a pumpkin farm here we've built this little quad um, villager breeder game. Uh, so what we've got is, um, I haven't filled it with the villagers fully yet, but we've got our little cod going. So we've got a little villager breeder in the middle, they drop down, and they have their little babies and they'll drop down into the chamber at the bottom there. And then we have um, four farms attached to this breeder. And so that should produce a lot of food for the two villagers in the middle. They should breed babies quite fast. And then we can just throw them few carrots and hopefully they'll get underway and soon they'll have their babies and then we can get the other three farms filled. So like I said I've done this off camera because I didn't want to kind of bore you with that and I've made a start on our general mob farm which we've got going just off the coast so what we're going to do is we're going to go over to there and we're going to try and start or at least carry on um, building that but I do have to go and see if I can find some string or some arrow actually let's go over to the I'll show you, I'll show you what we've got um, the first area so we've been clearing a bit of this out uh, we're getting ready to expand so you're going to have the iron farm going up over the uh, the top of the breeder there makes it nice and easy to get the villagers from the breeder and then move them straight up to the, the the iron farm, I'll pop them in their eventual locations, and then out here, just in the over the sea here, we've got our um, we're going to have our um, general mob farm going up, and I've built the base of the mob farm. So we have the collection system in place, and um, it's situated in a rather lovely location, just over. A huge coral uh, area, which makes it very nice, very picturesque underneath. So we'll get over to the platform. Let me show you what we've got. Um, <coughs> a nice little dock here for our boat, which unfortunately we left behind. Uh, we just grab uh, that one. I'm going to need that. Uh, let's see. Do we need anything else? Not the moment. Uh, yeah, so we've got a collection system, so we'll have we'll have the stuff dropping into here, so all the mobs will be dropping onto here and dying, because they're going to be falling 24 blocks, which as you know is instant death for any mobs. And then up here we've got the start of the farm. So I've again built this off camera, this is kind of the, the boring part really, and I just wanted to show you what we've got here before we do the rest of this. Um, so this is the platform they're going to have, obviously directly above here, we're going to have 10 platforms going up. They're going to fall, they're going to drop, they're going to get washed into the middle, whereupon they're going to fall and drop to their death. <coughs> and then we we'll cut up all the bits. That should then give me a nice supply of um, well, gunpowder, mainly, because as you can see, I am all out rockets, that's the reason why I am in the process of swimming and walking around and not actually doing any flying. It's kind of frustrating when you have a pair of elytra and you can't use it. <laughs> you got elytra wings and you have to walk. It's like having a car and taking the bus. Anyway, we'll get there in a minute. And then we can get our mob farm up and running. So have some rockets. We'll be able to. I guess we get some rockets going. We'll be able to get ourselves set up with a uh, a rocket shop as well. So I think we should get a fair amount of uh, gunpowder out of this to be able to produce rockets and sell rockets in our in a shop in the shopping district. So what we need though at the moment is, I don't know if anybody's selling any 
bow and arrow, or bows at least, um, over to the shopping district. So I think we'll take a walk over and have a look over at the shopping district. <laughs> Shopping district. What have we got here? Oh. So what we got here? We've got. Uh, we got buying the plot. Let's open the shop. Buy a plot of land in the shopping district. One diamond block gets you a ten by ten. Ah, oh, ten by ten area. Nice. Okay. So twenty by twenty areas, two blocks. Sweet. I get that. Good, nice, I like this shot. What we got going on here? We got so heavy vests, super stompers, big boy pants, noggin blockers. Alright, heads, yeah, okay. Lucky boys. Axes, uh, silk boys. Silk touches. Ah, okay. Um we might be in the market for one of those, but ten diamonds, that's quite pricey for a pickaxe. And for an axe. I think we might just be in the market for spending some of our 57 diamonds. And, uh, right, let's have a quick look, see what other shots we've got going on here. I mean, not very many. Still early days, early days and early doors. So we've got, oh, what's this one? So we've just got two shops at the moment, by the looks of it. What's this one selling? Situated in a cave, what's the chests? Requests, stack one diamonds, iron, need iron. Okay, fine. <laughs> okay, so nobody's selling bows. Um, okay, uh, well, we'll head back. Actually, no, let's spend some diamonds. Let's, let's kit ourselves out. We'll go in here, we'll uh, kit ourselves out with some goods. So, I think we're gonna. Right, so, we're gonna take a. Um, put that over there a minute. Let's get our diamonds out. So, yeah, we'll take our silk touch. One of those, we're gonna leave 10. Silk touch. And we want a. Kind of want a good, nice, sturdy axe. I'll take one of those. Okay, and I guess you know a good shovel always comes in handy. Where am I going to put this? I'm going to chuck it on the floor for a minute. Yeah, I'm not leaving my diamonds behind. I'll have it back, we'll chuck those in there. Right, let's just pop that and that in there out of the way. There we go, we're good. Uh, we've got our efficiency pickaxe already. We've got uh, sort of a bit of smite sweeping edge. We need to add to that because I need to get mending on that as well. And armor wise, yeah, we could do some boots um, and a helmet maybe. 27, we could do. What we got on those? Depth Strider. Yeah, okay, I mean, you talked me into it, really. I, I kind of, I'm convinced. It's, it's good to be kitted out, isn't it? Um, yeah, a good pair of solid, sturdy boots. <coughs> They're quite important. And uh, I think, you know, a good, solid, sturdy helmet. Realised they were 12, that's cost me a bit more, isn't it? How much are those boots? Oh, wow, they're 12 as well. Better make sure I need the right money. Did I take my helmet? I did. Okay, so we are nicely kitted out. Put the diamonds back, so, um, yeah, that's, that's. Wow. <laughs> that's a, that was a big bit of spending, that was. Um, we're going to have to go and do a bit more uh, 
of a grind to find more diamonds again soon. So we're pretty cleaned out. Let's head back to the industrial district. Ah, oh, here we are. Right. right. Things got a little bit distracted earlier. Uh, I came out of the portal into the nether. And uh, Mr. Lowdrift had a bit of a problem with, the, with these ghasts. So I had to go and help him out with those. Uh, took a little bit longer. But I'm back now, so got a got a shriek. Jay was cool. Jay was same I call him. That's never good. Always gonna hurt. Okay, uh, what am I looking for now? Um, right, I've got. Uh, also, yeah, I got some some bows from Mister Lowdrift as uh, as payment for. Sorting out his gas problem and uh, helping him link his portal up to the uh, to the nether roof, which he was most appreciative of. But uh, so I've got those. I can take the slab because I might need those. Uh, that's pretty much what I'm going to need. So let's head on over to uh, yeah, let's just leave that for a minute. Let's head on over to the. Um, farm, mod, mod farm, our general mod farm that we're building, that's right. And uh, we can get carrying on with that. So I'm going to need, right off the bat, to craft up some, uh, what have I got? Oh, I've got some nine cookies there as well. Uh, I left the boat. Okay, well, never mind. We'll have to swim. I was swimming early, I was swimming on the way over to, um, to Mr. Lodris because he uh, couldn't get to his place through the nether roof. And uh, yeah, got picked up by a dolphin and swam along really fast. It's quite amazing how speed you can get up to when you're swimming with him. Uh, here we go, we are back here. Right, so the first thing we need to do is to put down put down this guy. Okay, need to swap the bows and get those out. And then I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm going to need to craft up two more because I need ten of those in total, so we craft those two. Grab a snack of that. And I'm gonna swap the cookies out for a snack of that. And then we can do uh, we can craft up a bunch of dispensers. Yes, we're going to need a dispenser to dispense water. And, oh, platforms that I'm going to build. So each of those platforms where our so they're spawning platforms. Uh, oh we've got eleven that's fine. Not too bad. What's that? <laughs> yeah. Punch columns they're gonna chase you. No getting away from that one. Uh, and then we'll, right, so what we need to do is we're going to go up here. So this is the ground, then we got that. So let's get the scaffold. Uh, left all my slabs downstairs, but anyway, we'll come back to that in a minute. One, two, right, so one, two, and then three. So essentially, the first platform is going to be there. So what we need is a dispenser 
facing up. That was close. <laughs> I nearly forgot to fly. In a bit of a, a mess. Uh, right, so we'll take these. We'll come back if we need them. More, which we will. <coughs> so what we'll do is right. So like I said, this is the first level is here. Uh, so we get some slabs out, and then our slabs go. Uh, <laughs> We need to create first, but the slabs are going to go one there, and then we'll just put the slab all around, just so we can see what we've got going on, and like that. And then we need a block on there. Yep. And I've ah, got the observers. Let's go and build some observers. Redstone, glass because we don't need the glass at the moment. Don't need the obsidian or flint still. Need to do the nervous again. Remember, observer. We need so cobblestone, quartz, and redstone. All right, so let's let's get some more stone. Of those. So we'll need ten of those. So we'll take those with us. And then we can move the rest of the cobblestone down here. Come back for that. And the quartz and the redstone. Come back there for that in a minute. So we'll head on back up here. <clears throat> right, that's what I'm saying. So that's our first. But what we're going to want is an observer facing down. Or is it up? No, I think it's up. Yeah, it's definitely up. So we're going to want. Uh, sink. It's definitely up. So we've got that. Then we've got that. Then we've got take that back out again. Oh, observer goes in like that because it's got to be facing down. I activate that one. So that's that. Then we go back up again. Uh, second level nice Closing up so let's just go and do all these. Um, should have ten in place again.
sec. That's the 10 to add 11 droppers. So there. And then what we need is, so what we need is to build that into this platform, we'll get the observers in. So I'll come back, um, I'll be back to you when that's all done.
and we're back and here we are so finished the build uh, as you can see behind me obviously you know, the, the bottom part was still is still the same <laughs> it's not much changed I've got this scaffold going uh, up over here which takes us up so let's uh, switch the view and we'll take a look so over here uh, oh, I did finish the build um, last night and uh, I AFK'd overnight and of course you yeah, know this is pretty good fun so we're already we are full stocked uh, with stuff here and we've got a couple of chests down here already full and the hoppers are all backed up and if we go under here every single one of these hoppers is all backed up as well but let's take a look up at the farm now this is based on Nembom's design and this is similar to the one that uh, that Mumbo built in Hermitcraft so so you saw the ground base platform there. You know the moss come down, the water washes them out of the hole in the middle. So if I stop, uh, you can see over there, it's a bit dark in there, but some gates in there that uh, we, we use to stop the yeah, moss from hanging onto the edges so they'll all fall through. And then each of the platforms as you go up, we've got some, uh, some scary mobs in there already. And we're all waiting to come down. Oh, there's another one, there's zombies. A couple of zombies gonna walk over the edge. And then you've got the top. And then right at the top here we've got our trigger system for the water on each level. We've got a comparative on uh, retract, or, or yeah, on subtract rather. And then we have our um, we have all of our repeaters down to our signal at the back, then it comes back up. And every one of these repeaters is on four ticks. Uh, and when you switch that on that comes along here and as it comes over our dispenser just here it sends a pulse down through the dispensers and the observers that we've got below and they output the water and off it goes and then if you we carry on going up all the way up to the top where we have our AFK spot so we're able to stand up here and we're able to AFK and uh, gather as much resource as uh, as we need to, which is uh, which is great. And as you saw from, uh, from the beginning, that when uh, we came up here, just from AFKing overnight, we had so much resource. So uh, this is going to be great going forward. It's going to give us all the gunpowder we need for our rockets, which you can see in my hand. I I've got rockets back! Yay! Woo! Celebrate! Uh, we've got bones for bone meal, we've got bows, we've got arrows, we've got f all sorts of stuff. All sorts of good. Uh, all sorts of good stuff. So let's head back down to the bottom. Uh, so the AFK spot will. Uh, we've probably now got quite a few mobs gathered uh, inside here. So if I just turn around and we see. No, we haven't. I thought we had a few, but we don't appear to have that many. So let's just uh, pop that down to the bottom here and land. There we go. So that's that's everything. Uh, a bit of an overflow here. So I'm going to go through, through all this stuff. I'm going to see if we can get ourselves a bit of a bigger storage system set up underneath there. Um, but for now, I'm going to call that an episode um, for now. And uh, I think we'll be back for the next episode. And remember, you know, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, if you like what you see, um, always leave a like underneath as well. And don't forget, leave in the comments anything that, um, that you'd like to see in uh, in future episodes. Uh, and until then, this has been Bonded Salt on Project Hydra. Goodbye.